This is the DYU King 750, a huge monster of a fat tyre e-bike. As suggested by the name, this bike has a 750 watt motor with an impressive 75 newton meters of torque. Those stats suggest it might be able to beat similar spec e-bikes up our hill climb test, Sandy Lane. We'll definitely be putting through that test as well as the usual top speed pedal test, brake test and zero power riding test. So this is the DYU King 750 e-bike from DYU, the company known for their little ditty e-bikes, but this is not one of those e-bikes. It certainly isn't. The DYU S2 and D3F previously reviewed on the channel had tiny cranks and a top speed that could barely reach the UK limit. The King 750 wasn't much slower when it wasn't even switched on. It's not terrible without, without power. We're getting nine miles per hour out of it. Let's turn it on. I mean, it's doable. So if I run out of batteries, I'm going slightly uphill. I could, I could pedal this. Right, let's get it on. It's got that nice grip. Oh, it's kicked in all, it's straight away. Pedal assist one. Right. Automatically, pedal assist one. Oh, well, that's weird. It kind of cut out then. Right, now the units, P2. Yeah, we're miles per hour now, right, okay. So I've changed that to miles per hour by changing P2 to 01 instead of 00. The bike arrived in a huge box and was well packed. It came with a rear reflector, three amp charger with UK plug, pedals, kickstand, tools, and the instruction manual. The bike was straightforward to put together in less than an hour. Now I've gone through puddles, but luckily, unlike the, uh, the US version of this bike, it does come with mud guards, which are very welcome indeed. Morning. Out on the road, I quickly found out that things were working a little differently from usual. Throttle works. Whoa, instant. Okay, the front, it's cut out over 15 now. No, okay. Pedal assist two, it's carrying on now. Got to 21 then. So, I'm happy, well that, that's weird. So pedal assist one, I'm gonna go down to pedal assist one again. So if I, when I pedal, gears work well, Shimano, Tawny, seem to be well adjusted. So, pedal assist one is like UK legal. It doesn't do anything. And then, after 15.5, and then pedal assist two, does so it's like if you get pulled over quickly put it in pedal assist one and say look officer it doesn't work over 15.5 so let's see how, if i just pedal pedal assist two how fast we're we gonna get and we can compare it to the gps as well gps says 20 screen quite hard to see the screen uh, that cuts out after 21 ish so now i'm gonna Try the throttle, see how far that takes us. So throttle only. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And then it could say after 22 as well. Okay. Weird. It's a weird way of doing it. Now I'm in the third one. Let's do pedal assist. Currently again, I'm wearing the base camp boards personalized EVRC helmet which they made for me it's a very nice helmet they reached out and said can we make you a helmet want to put your logo on it so it's not a sponsored slot just help them out a bit because they uh, they gave me a nice helmet so yeah base cam boards we are getting up to 24 and it's still in the top speed is meant to be about 28 foot. Oh, I'm gonna go. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta be ready for that, man. They just, did you see that? They just, they all wanna pull out on you. They can't see you. It's mad. Happy to have made it to the other side alive, I then discovered the joys of a suspension saddle. Wow. I'm not a massive fan, but it kind of worked then. I went over some bumps and it wasn't jarring at all. It took the brunt of it. Bumpy here, bumpy. Wow, that was surprisingly good. 
More here. You ready? Oh. <laughs> it's kind of scary. I went over it at 23 miles an hour. But it was smooth. No, this feels comfortable. This is a very comfortable ride and fast. But sometimes it's nice to have a firmer ride. It's got front suspension, which I've actually currently locked out. I often do that. There are potholes, but generally the big fat tires, 26 inch, four inch fat tires do take the brunt of it. So it's not strictly necessary on this kind of road riding. But it's just nice to have the option if you are on a really bad road. Hello, hello, hello. A lot about the DYU King feels high quality. The suspension seat post is a nice addition that actually helps when it does look like a gimmick. The screen looks really high tech, although it does seem to steam up and it's hard to see in daytime. The stand is sturdy. The chain ring guard is really nice. I'm glad the front suspension is adjustable and lockable and it's nice that the bike comes with mud guards. They look like metal, but they're actually plastic, but that also means they don't make a lot of noise. It's nice that the bike easily reaches the advertised speed of 45 kilometers per hour or 28 miles per hour. Proud. You may be surprised how many bikes don't live up to the manufacturer's claims. Yeah, this bike will easily pull you along at 28 miles an hour. I'm pretty heavy as well, 100 kilograms. It suits a good range of sizes as well. I'm only 5'9". This feels perfect, but I haven't even got the seat up. Of course, the problem with speed is that you still look like a bike, so cars don't realise how fast you can get to them. We already saw what happened on the roundabout, but also... 45 kilometres, don't, 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 no, don't. They nearly went, they nearly went, you saw them stop there. And... See me, see me, see me, see me. She looks scared then. I'm looking at a close-up of her face. She looked really shocked. She's like, oh! you got to do that when you're riding the round. It's like you're gonna make eye contact. And if you haven't made eye contact, get ready on the brakes. Or get ready to jump over a bonnet or a hood. Part of it must be the high torque of the motor. The BMW on the roundabout may not have seen me, but there's a good chance he didn't think I'd be anywhere near him when he pulled away. It pulls so well, like it accelerates so fast. So we know the bike can go 28 miles per hour without any input, but how fast can it go when pedaling? I'm gonna stand up, top gear. Oh, the suspension, shouldn't have bothered. 28, 29. Can't get 30 on it. I got 30. 30, not bad. Although the GPS speedometer didn't get over 29, I still believe I was going at least 30. It did feel fast and I couldn't see the speed on the screen, but I could be wrong. But whether it went 30 or not, I was grateful for the hydraulic brakes, which should be mandatory on any bike that can travel over 20 miles per hour. No cars, this lamppost, 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Them brakes are amazing. Let's pull it there. And I let go a bit. Bloody hell, those brakes are good. Hydraulic. Hydraulic disc brakes. The way forward. God, that was good. Another reason it's handy to have those hydraulic brakes is due to the bike being a pretty heavy 97 pounds or 44 kilograms. Now, I didn't weigh the bike, but this does seem really heavy, especially considering something like Engway's M20 weighs about 34 kilograms. That's 10 kilograms less. 44 kilograms. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Luckily, the powerful and massive hub motor could power it along so you don't actually think about the weight while you're riding it. But how would it do getting all that weight up our hill? DYU King 750, 75 Newton meters of torque. So in theory, this should get up here very well. I'll be very impressed if it can do it in a minute. Three, two, one, go. Okay, decent start. It does, it does feel like it's got decent torque, this. 10 miles an hour, 11 miles an hour, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Obviously, if you can get a bit of a run up, 17, still going up. Okay, now it's dropping, now it's dropping. It's gonna get past here, though. It's looking good, looking good. 15. Okay, now it's slowing, 11.4. 
11, 10.8. But it's doing well. Oh, it's hard to call this. Could it be faster than the Engways? Speed gaining again, gaining again, 12, 13, we need it there. Staying at 13. Oh, dropping again. It gets a bit steeper there. Right, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. And just about to pass it now. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. And that time propels the DYU King not only to the top of Sandy Lane, but also to second in our leaderboard behind only the prototype WOW Cyber. Amazing bike, by the way. Check out the channel for the review. It beat the Engways M20 and their Engine Pro, which for a long time had been the fastest consumer e-bike. But the Pro is dead. Long live the King. So it's a 750 watt bike, but apparently it peaks at 900, which is obviously a good peak. It's less than what are the, uh, a lot of the other bikes have tried peak at. The M20, for example, peaks at 1,000. I think this bike feels faster, though. Now, with all this power, you really need a battery that allows you to get places. Luckily, the battery, easily accessible from the bottom of the down tube and locked into place with the key, is pretty massive. Now, the battery that comes with this bike is 20 amp hours. And because the bike is 48 volts, 48 times 20, quick maths, that's 960 watt hours of capacity. That's loads, that is. Thank you. They reckon about 50 miles range. I lost one out of five bars of battery at about the 10 mile mark into my ride, so that does seem pretty realistic, especially considering the big battery. In reality though, the claimed range is always under perfect conditions, no hills and a lighter rider, so I doubt it could do 50 miles sticking to pedal assist three, but it's safe to say it can go very far. The charge port is very nice too, not one of those annoying little plugs that takes ages to put in. Something that I almost forgot about is that the bike also has a torque sensor. What that means is that the bike doesn't just detect pedals turning and give you 100% power, it actually detects how hard you're trying to pedal. So if you're not really trying, it won't give you that much. Handy for not accidentally killing pedestrians in crowded places like this little plaza type area next to a kid's park. So let's see if we can make it not kick in, the torque sensor. So if I go totally ghost pedal, it still comes in, but slowly. And then if I push, and then it starts getting. So you can get that really slow push. I do like the torque sensor. I actually forgot that it had a torque sensor. And it is good that you can get a slow push because if this, if you've got a cadence sensor on a 750 watt bike, and you do this, it's gonna act like you're full throttling it, which could shove you into people. And plus, with your extra effort, it makes you even faster than the, the throttle does. Now, I've done a video about throttle laws, and if you wanna find out exactly why I think the throttle law is ridiculous, go and check that video out. Well, feel free to tell us in the comments here if you want. Let's see how long it takes to kick in. So not pedaling, not pedaling, not pedaling, 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 there. Let's count. One, two, about two seconds. But before the final summing up, what would I change about the bike? Well, for the price, I think a better Shimano gear set. Tawny is okay, but Altus is noticeably better. I'd like a proper buzzer instead of a bell because the bell sucks. Ding, 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 ding. Rubbish. A bike that's gonna be ridden on roads really needs a powerful buzzer to alert cars to your presence. The front light is also bad. It will allow you to be seen, but it's not great for actually seeing in the dark. And the rear light, well, there isn't one. Luckily, I had my Basecamp board's helmet on, which comes with a rear light. The computer was nice, but I would prefer better screen text so it can be seen in the day, and also not to steam up. Also, the computer doesn't allow you to travel without power. The only way you can ride without power is by turning off the computer, but then you're not recording your mileage or your speed. And finally, although the suspension seat post did perform really well, it will never beat good rear suspension, preferably lockable. Oh, and something to note, it's only available in this admittedly very nice matte black, if Batman had an e-bike. Now this bike retails at over £2,000, which is quite expensive, but it is one of those things where actually most of the time it's on sale, so it's a bit of a fake price. And at the sale price, this is actually amazing value. 
because what you've got here is a proper sized bike 26 inch tires and fat nice tires they're nice and comfortable grippy as well you've got a motor that is really good 750 watts peaks at 900 75 newton meters of torque see me see me see me see me hydraulic disc brakes nice screen admittedly it steams up and it's a bit hard to see in broad daylight front light no rear light suspension lockable suspension you get a lot for your money with this bike oh and a torque sensor forgot about the torque sensor a torque sensor usually adds a good couple of hundred on the price of a bike you get a lot the bike feels fantastic to ride and the large frame gives you a presence on the road which is ironic that more people didn't see me than ever before whilst making this video but I'm putting that down to bad luck. Unlike your folding e-bikes the handlebars are nice and wide which gives you a control over the bike that the folders just don't give. It's selling now for about €2,000 which comes to about £1,700. Now at that price it is decent value not amazing but not overpriced like some other famous name brands and that is a decent price considering the torque sensor big battery and the hydraulic brakes but when it comes down even more and i have seen it much lower you're going to struggle to find a better value e-bike the only experience i have had of dyu is the s2 and the d3f which are diddy tiny little things that aren't very fast at all this is wonderful so that was the dyu king 750 if you're interested in the bike, do feel free to use our affiliate links. They're down in the description below. It doesn't add anything onto the price or anything. It just helps out the channel if you use them. So if you appreciate the review, I'd appreciate you use those links. Of course, if you got something from the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Or if you didn't, thumbs down. Maybe I shout too much. And of course, if you like e-bikes with a smattering of e-scooters, e-skateboards, then do subscribe to the channel it is absolutely free and if i stop giving what you want just unsubscribe thank you again for watching until the end of the video let us know in the comments if you did i do absolutely appreciate you and until next time ride safe like these two on the scooter